Good morning. Good day, Esther's Crown Prayer Wall. Good morning. God's blessings. Good day. Praying that everyone is feeling good today, ready to be blessed of the Lord in our um, comings and goings today. His word says new mercies every day. So we step into those new mercies. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. God's blessings. Stepping into the new mercies. New mercies covering everything in our lives. Covering everything we're believing for. The places we stand. Our fellowship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today I'm going to read a Philippians chapter 1. And I have a few extra verses on here. Because it's actually thanks, thankfulness and prayer. And I wanted to share this out of my heart before we go into prayer. In verses 3 through 11. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Always in every prayer of mine making requests for you all with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing. That he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you are all partakers with me of grace. For God is my witness how greatly I long for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank you, God, for your message to our hearts, for your plans in our lives, God. Right now, we just agree that your spirit and your life sustains us through every situation that we walk through, God. We agree for your spirit to have the place, the rightful place. We invite you, God, into every step we're making, the decisions, the plans, the choices, the increase, Lord. We invite you into the increase that as our prayers get answered and as we're blessed or as we increase that we will remember you. We'll be mindful of you, mindful of one another, that we won't meet none of us in our circle will have to be lonely or be depressed or go through things, Lord, that we can't rise up and pray about or that we can't. Send a love offering to God. Bring the increase to us to be able to yield fruit, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your word, your place, Lord. Right now, whew, we just stand here in the heavens with you, God. You said with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for visiting us today. Your word is true. It's tried sure, steadfast, tested. You're a, a strong tower to us, our strong buckler, our shield. Thank you, Jesus. Help us to be mindful of the protection suited in the armor. Help us, God, to be victorious in the face of the conflicts. Remind us of your word. Bring to memory what you have said. Bring to memory what you've done in days prior, God. Remind us of the greatest gift of all, salvation. Keep our ears and our hearts, our gaze towards this one truth, that we're born again, God. That we're saved, that this is not permanent for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. We lift up the needs of one another every need, God, financial, physical, emotional, mental, relational. We lift up the needs, the callings, that there would be a strong conviction in us, God, to do exactly what you've told us to do, to hear, to be able to hear, to be vulnerable, that you would 
show us that you will protect us as we step out and trust you, God. Thank you. Thank you for our family, our friends. We plead the blood. We pray a blood covenant covering over all of our family members as an extension of our stand with you. We declare that they are born again, healed whole, raised up, sanctified, set apart. But Lord, that you'll bring godly relationships, friendships, God-fearing relationships in their path everywhere they go. But there'll be somebody, Lord, that hears you to minister and deposit seed into them. And we trust you that you'll water that seed, God. Thank you for this generation called, chosen, set apart, sanctified, equipped, empowered. You would not leave us without, God. You said that the days would wax worse and worse and evil and darkness would gross the earth. And, and we understand, God. We understand, but you also said your glory would shine upon us, rest upon us. So we thank you for miracles, signs and wonders, for restoration, for this day, just good health. Wealth and riches, God, treasures, Father, resources, ideas, plans. You're just that good, God. And we trust you today. We lay hold on eternal life today. The promises, the blessings, the favor, the obedience, God, that walk with you, that obedient place, Lord. We don't want to make our own decisions or be separated or wandering or staggering on the path, God. We want a, a sure-footed, narrow path walk with you, that obedient path, God. Teach us how to do that. Guide us, Holy Spirit. You're our comforter. You're our teacher, our friend. The, the guarantee sealed by you. Visit us. Yes, Lord, visit us. God, we pray an increase in the sound of your voice and the knowing of your presence, dreams and visions, what we're supposed to be doing in this hour, God. Fill us with wisdom. Increase us in discernment. Pour into us as we pour out to others. May, may we refresh one another, those streams, God. May we be refreshed as your word says, planted as trees. Thank you, Jesus. We are yours. We will not shrink back. We're not amongst those, God. Call forth each and every heart, soul that's wayward, that's strained, prodigals. Right now, just we call them forth. We say, come home. There's more for you here than anywhere else. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your healing grace. Thank you for your everlasting kindness, your loving kindness from generation to generation, even in your justice, God. You speak loudly of how correction equals love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're not an abusive God. You're not a controlling Lord. Yeah, your correction is honest. It's pure. It's right. It's just. Thank you, Lord. We welcome you into every decision. Thank you, Father. Right now we pray for whew, the missionary workers in the fields. We pray for the churches, God, across the nations, the leaders, the governments, the cities, the towns, the neighborhoods. We pray across your globe across your creation, for the youngest to the oldest, God, the richest, poorest, smallest to the greatest, every animal, every unborn baby. We pray right now for everything that has breath, God. We said it's not your desire that even one should perish. Make us one with your word. Bring us into understanding to your heart that we would pray the right prayers. God, fill those places in our soul, mind, will, body, those places, God, that are shallow, those places that are separated, where in unrecognized stuff goes on. God, we want to be filled with you. Filled, God. Filled with your knowledge. Understanding and wisdom. Revelation. We 
lift up the orphans and widows to you, God. We pray visitors to them, answers, heart healings, emotional ties to you, Lord God, truth and justice to prevail. In this nation, United States, where we are in the nations represented here on our prayer time, we speak to the spirits of control and greed and lies and deception and agendas, and we say no in the name of Jesus. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are more than anything. We will not bow down. No Nebuchadnezzar spirit. We will not. We will not serve a false God. None of them. Not a spirit of offense. No way. In Jesus' name. Go. In Jesus' name. No lies. No perversion. Perverting the word. We say no. Accuracy in our understanding, God. We need accuracy. Exactness, God. Raise us up. Our physical bodies being restored, repaired. Even in places where there's been surgeries or things have happened or wear and tear or time. We pray forth creative miracles into the depths of our being right now. From the crown to the souls inside and out. Soul, mind, spirit, and body. Revive today. The ears being protected for things that it's heard things, the eyes, things that it's seen. Teach us how to use wisdom to be careful what we look at, to be careful what we listen to, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We pray over every city and every state, all the nations from shore to shore, sea to sea, mountain to valley, woods and fields, homeless camps, God. Children being violated, Lord, sexual trafficking. We stand with you, Father, with all of heaven's armies to expose and reveal, heal, protect, to bring causes. Use us, hands and feet. Raise us up, God, whether it's us or just our prayers towards this generation, towards a group of people that are already set ablaze to do it, God. We say yes to godly ones raising up in our police forces and our military and the first responders in our medical that you would give God drop seeds of God wisdom into him for cures and answers and remedies God bring the answers in our daily bread for healing for health God increase in daily bread for provisions and needs we're yours God we're not doing what we don't shouldn't be doing with it Lord we love you we honor you with the first fruits of our substance we always do Lord it's how good you are we worship you. We honor you with all of it. Keep us, keep that in mind, God, as we pray these prayers. We're faithful to you in those things, God. And strengthen us to be faithful in all things. You said you remain faithful even when we're faithless, Jesus. God, I pray for the families right now, the couples, the married couples, the homes, Lord, where there's division where lies have crept in, addictions, God. Break the strongholds of fear, of doubt, of unbelief, of adultery, and, oh gosh, Lord, help, help this earth, Father. Send your angels, dispatch your ministers, God. Raise us up to have Holy Ghost prayers. Even in our counseling towards others, when they call for advice or suggestion, may our lips be filled with wisdom of you, God that the words will not return void. Give us a hunger and thirst for what is you, Jesus. Make our enemies to be at peace with us, Lord. We pray for our enemies. We pray for those who spitefully persecute us, who use us, who say all manner of evil against us. Yes, God, your word says, great is our reward. We stand in your likeness. We stand in your image. We declare your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for allowing us to serve in prayer and in friendship and fellowship and be in one with you. Gird up the loins of our mind, God. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of truth, speak louder than every lie, every deception. We want to hear your voice. We want to recover fully from everything ever done to us, God. 
that we can walk in full stature, mind, soul, spirit, and body, protected. Thank you, God. Bless our neighbors, Lord. Yes, whether we agree with them or not. Bless the churches, God, whether we agree with them or not. You said pray for all the saints, all. Right now we stand praying for all that your will be done. You said you caused the sun to rise on the just and unjust. How frightening that must seem to us who don't agree with that. Thank you, Jesus. Be merciful to each one of us, just as we need mercy. We pray you pour out mercy. Adjust the dial of the leaders in the churches, in the Congress, in the government, in the courtrooms, in the classrooms, in any place corporate, any place that leads God. Adjust the dial for those that have been leading incorrectly, especially in your name. Cause them to see by your heart, God. Open the eyes of our understanding, all of us, that we would see by your heart, that we would know you, Father. That we would be named as yours. Thank you, God. We give you praise for what you're going to do. Thank you, Lord. And those godly leaders in this generation, in this culture, God, in this time, Raise up a generation, God, of leaders with education and moral and value and Christian ethics, God. You, likeness of you, prosper them, God, as you advance them. Give them favor going in, favor going out, God. Make their enemies their footstools, God. Destroy the in plan of the enemy on their way into those government offices, into those leadership positions, into running those churches at such a young age. Destroy the enemy's plans. Confound human understanding. Confound diabolical schemes, God. You are worthy of all that we are. We just open ourselves to you and we say yes to heaven. We say yes to your plans in this earth as you have it. Praying over it all. Dispatch, send out legions, armies of angels. Fill the earth. Flood the earth. Flood the earth from the north, south, east, and west. Protecting, ministering to, guiding. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Fulfilling the plans of God in this earth, host of heaven come forth around us and all that is us into this generation. We call forth generational blessings. Blessings. The blessings of Abraham. The inheritance. The DNA of Christ Jesus. Born again. Born again. Sons and daughters. Children of the Most High. Ambassadors for Christ. We call it forth. Calling it forth. Yes, Jesus. Praise you, God. Whew. Thank you for giving us peace. Peace that passes all understanding. Fill our hearts and minds, Lord. Open the eyes of our understanding. Enlighten us. Forgive us, God. Lost souls. Bring in the harvest, Lord. Send the laborers. May there be a great deliverance in this earth. A great, mighty deliverance. A recompense unto salvation. Hearts be amended. Souls be born again. Minds be renewed. That growth place in you, God. May a mighty growth spurt come forth in the body. Yes, God. Growing in grace. Growing in truth, Lord praising you all day long. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. We give you praise. We glorify you. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for hearing us. You always hear us, Lord. Thank you for the animals, the causes, the ministries. Thank you for the, the unborn babies. May they all come forth, God. 
thank you, Father, for the children, the families, the seniors, God. Look their way. Raise up respect in our senior community, God. Remind us, Jesus. Remind this younger generation. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. We honor you today. Oh, God, may a great forgiveness come to each one of us. An awesome healing. We pray for every heart that's broken. For every soul that's been damaged. For those that are facing bad reports and decisions, God. For those that are in the middle of divorces or separations, God. Or loneliness or in prison. Regret everything they've done, God. For those in the woods that are can't figure out how they got there, God, with their addictions. Oh, for the seniors that are walking around their homes, haven't heard from their kids, family members, God, haven't heard from other family members, the division, break the curse of division, God. You said a house divided will never stand. Oh, we love you, God. Thank you for blessings. Thank you for your favor upon this earth. Thank you for hearing our cries. You hear every cry in the earth. You hear every child, every animal, every senior, every person, every couple. You hear everything, God. Your ear is not dull. Your arm is not shortened. We honor you. Honor us, God. Yes, Lord. Honor each one of us with the abundant life and the goodness of who you are. King of kings, Lord of lords, almighty maker of heaven and earth, alpha and omega, perfecter, beginning and end are more than enough, our Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, our Yahweh, our Prince of Peace. Oh, Jesus, remind us, remind us who you are, speak to our hearts, visit us, visit our loved ones, visit our friends. Make a way where there seemed to be no way. Open up the windows of heaven. Pour out unto each one. May your mercies prevail and abound and reside. And show themselves, Lord, bigger than any conflict, any disapproval or disagreement. You are worthy. We sing praise to your name today. We glorify all that you are, God. Thank you, Jesus, for repairing and restoring and giving back sevenfold. Having the enemy have to restore time and time and time again in abundance. Thank you, God, for cutting off the source of his entranceway to any one of us in Jesus' name. We plead the blood. Where the blood speaks, the blood is life. We declare the blood of Christ. We plead it upon us in our households. That's right. In Jesus' name, we are covered. The cross is our stay. We stand by the cross. We kneel. We carry it. We bury our own selves. That old nature, we say no. And we deny it its power. We resist it today. Show us how to stay in step with you, God how to mortify the deeds, how to continue on in your likeness, how to stand in your good graces, all those works of the flesh being crucified, being crucified, not being able to act as if they're gods, not being able to speak as a god, not being able to declare anything, crucified is the fruit of all that you are, holiness, righteousness, peace, victory, Victory carriers, God, more than enough. Yes, promise keeper, God, protect us. Protect us, Jesus. We call.
call forth your protection as we humble ourselves. Heal us, God. Keep us in your good grace, God. Keep that canopy over us, that canopy of love, that banner, God. Continue to show yourself mighty on behalf of us, God. Don't let us slip out of your grip, Lord Jesus. That's right where we want to be. Grip tight, right there with you. Never to get loose, God. <laughs> we don't want to be loose, God. Oh, Jesus, we don't want to be loose, God. We pray for each person, God, that we know right now. We pray for each person. We agree with heaven for things we don't know about. We agree with you from any unrecognized areas. Cleanse us and wash us, God. Wash us clean, Lord Jesus. Be with each and every person we know. Be with them, whether they're enemies, friends, enemies of the cross, friends of the cross, God, mockers and scoffers, evil hearts, wicked rulers, God. We need a we need a revival. We need an overhaul, even in our own thinking about deception and things that we don't understand, God. We're not like you, Lord. Who could understand you or your way? He's so much higher. Teach us to be a submissive to who you are. Submission and being submissive, God. Rule and reign. Conquer. Thank you, victorious. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. I pray you settle it, God. Thank you for hearing us all. Thank you for hearing the prayers of our heart, the desires of our heart, the unspoken prayers, the unwritten things, unrecognized things, the things only you know about. We open ourselves up and say yes to you. And as an extension of us being open to you, God, we pray the same thing to those in our bloodline, blood sought and blood bought in the church and in our homes, God. Friendships, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. May you prevail and your word prevail in all this earth. You are greater. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. Thank you for our animals too, God. Thank you for your decisions, God, coming into us, what you would have to say. Yes, Lord. In all the earth, flood the earth, fill it, Lord, all of it, every area, God every area, every person. Yes. No stone unturned, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be with us, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Abba. Settle this for us, Jesus. In all the earth, your sound, God. Your sound, God.
Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for being with us, forgiving us, healing, making a way all the time. You're a way maker, a miracle maker, miracle signs and wonders. Thank you. Help us to be good stewards, God, over the things we've entrusted. Set a fire in our hearts, a passion for you. We'll be passionate, God. Help us to be passionate towards you. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to read this again real quick. I just, I don't feel like I can close out, but maybe it was because um, some of you weren't on when we first started. This is what I read when I started. Um, Philippians chapter 1. Verses 3 through 11. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in prayer of mine, making requests for you with all joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, Inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. For God is my witness how greatly I long for you with all with the affection of Jesus Christ. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, to the glory and to the praise of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that, for me and my friends, God. Thank you for that, for us here and our families, that this prayer, this petition, here in your word, would resonate true to each one of our hearts. For the days to come, the weeks, and if you tarry the years, God, may we continue to grow stronger and stronger and more sincere and remain unoffendable, God. We thank you, Father, for your filling today, for the filling of your spirit, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I just guess I had to read it again. I don't think everybody was on when we first started, so. All right. God's blessings. God's blessings. Love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.